Okay, so once again, uh, what I want to talk about is how to go to heaven when you die. Amen? Yeah. Right. Now, I'm going to read this first Bible verse. It says, These things have I written unto you that believe on the name of the Son of God, that ye may know that ye have eternal life, and that ye may believe on the name of of the Son of God. Now, Nasabdan Yi, it means you. Kamu, the Messiah. So, right here, the Bible says that you can know that you're going to heaven. And Makinibalo, Kamu, Pinagi, Sapaku, Sa, Anaksa Dios. Kita ang Anaksa Dios, Kita sa Lagi. Jesus, amen? Amen! Alright, so going to heaven is as easy as believing in Jesus. But what I want to teach you is what you must believe about Jesus to go to heaven. Amen? Alright, now number one, the first thing we must understand about Jesus in the Gospel is the Bible says there is none righteous, no, not one. So while I be sorry, I'm not perfecto. Right? Even co perfecto, I'm not perfecto. And the reason that nobody's perfect is because we're sinners. Right? The Bible says, for all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. Now, who's a man of salam? Ayo, kumili maayo. Puta hai. I've told a lie before. Have you lied before? Yes. All right. So we're not perfect. We're sinners. We've all lied. God loves us, but God is a righteous God. So nai si lo para sa atong mga salam. There is a punishment for our sins, and this is the bad news first. Are you ready for the bad news? Yes! You can handle the bad news. Yes! Okay. The Bible says, but the fearful, and unbelieving, and the abominable, and murderers, and whoremongers, and sorcerers, and idolaters, and all liars, shall have their part in the lake which burneth with fire and brimstone, which is the second death. It's forever. In the Philippines, people say walleye forever. Right? If your Uya breaks up with you, you might say walleye forever. Right? But the Bible, okay, the Bible says hell is forever. Okay, walleye purgatorio, if you go to hell, you're in hell, Hantusa Hantu. Now, are you a liar? Or, wait, are you a murderer? No. Are you a sorcerer? No. But the Bible also said all liars deserve hell. I've lied, you've lied. So the bad news, our condemnation, what we deserve, is hell. But do you think God wants us to go to hell? The Bible says, for the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. Now, who is Jesus? Jesus is Jesus. So Jesus is God. Now this is very important to understand because there are many false gods and there are many false Jesuses, but the real God is Jesus. Jesus is the true God and eternal life. Right. Now, Jesus showed many signs and many miracles to prove that he was the Messiah. 
Bernie Maria, yang di awal ramai aku mulai, yang di pertama ramai gan ketahuan, yang di bantau orang percaya. But the most significant thing that Jesus did, Jesus makin bumi, walasalam. Jesus never sinned. He never lied. He never murdered. He never stole. Jesus is perfect because Jesus is God. Amen. Amen. Now, what happened to Jesus? How did he die? Did he get cancer? And the Bible says on the cross, Agamahan in heaven took the sins, and placed them on Jesus. All of my sins, all of your sins. The sins of the past, the present, and even the future, they were all placed on Jesus. And because he died with our sins, Angalaki Jesus Inferno, for three days and three nights, he took my sins, he took your sins, and then he went and burned in hell, Angalaki Jesus, three days and three nights. But what happened after three days and three nights? Did you stay there? A bond house, yeah. Amen? Amen. He showed the nails in his hands. He showed his bleeding side. And then he walked on this earth for 40 days and 40 nights. But even though Jesus did that, okay? but it's very easy to go to heaven. Okay, Let's read this uh, second verse here. For by grace are ye saved through faith, and that not of yourselves, it is the gift of God, not of works, lest any man should boast. So ye come on, are saved, a kalawasan, from infierno, through what? Faith. Amen? Now, faith does not mean that you just believe Jesus is real. Faith means you trust in Jesus. Paksali. That's not done? Right? Because supwa isa paktuku ang mga buhay. Now this is why most people go to hell. Because they try to work their way to heaven. Now, bino hatan maayo. Sipangan maayo. Bautismo maayo. Paginoso sa mga sala maayo. Pero, dili ka na ang kalawasan. Ang kalawasan, not of works. Kalawasan, Amen? Do you know John 3.16? For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish but have everlasting life. If you want to go to heaven, there's only one thing that you must do. Amen? Are you ready for the really good news? Yes! Sari kang na luwas ka, luwas na ka sa angkong kung si Jesus nagbayad sa tanan. Si Jesus nagbayad sa kung pangasala sa una, karo, kung sa mga abot. So, dili mawala ang kaluwasan. Ang kaluwasan regalo, ang kaluwasan libre. For example, let's say I give him my Bible regalo. Did he pay for it, or did I pay for it? I paid for it, right? So for him, I'm giving him a break, right? Now, on Kalawasan, can you buy us on Kalawasan? Can you? Yeah? Oh, see you soon. Jesus paid for salvation. So you don't work for it, you don't earn it, you don't pay for it. All you have to do is accept salvation by Faith. Faith. Trust in Jesus. Amen? Amen. And once you do that, you can never go to hell. You cannot lose your salvation. Because whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. Amen? Amen.
Now, God will punish you if you break his commandments. If you commit murder, come preso, right? If you do drugs, God might send you to day, sign you for life. Amen? Amen. Right? If you drink alcohol, you're going to mess up your life. You're going to ruin your life if you drink beer. But you'll still go to heaven because I call the loss of the gallon. The gift of God. Amen? Amen. By the way, if I call the on the gift of God, he gives us a gift. He's God. Well, he's the Son. Jesus is God, though. Amen? So this verse is how I know that I'm going to heaven, and you can know that you're going to heaven. If you believe in Jesus, you may know that you have eternal life. Now, sometimes, no. To be certain, to be sure, right? So if you believe the gospel, you can be sure that you're going to heaven. I'm sure I believe the gospel, okay? So let me make sure you understand this, because I don't want you to go to hell. Who must you believe in? Jesus, right? And in Portante Ayo, Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. So Jesus Laman Angalati Salani. I can't take you to heaven. You can't take yourself to heaven. Keep a boy can't take you to heaven. Muhammad, Allah, Mary, Pope Francis. Only Jesus. See me Amen? Amen. Now, once you believe in Jesus, how long does he save you for? Where are you? All right. So what if, what if he believes in Jesus today? Will he go to hell or heaven? Heaven. Heaven, amen? Amen. Okay, a harder question. He believes in Jesus today, and he gets saved forever. Okay, my hardest question. Are you ready? Yes. He believes in Jesus today. And today his soul is saved forever. Five years later, my it's Langi. Because if he believed in Jesus today, how long did he get saved for? Temporary or forever? Forever, right? So if he gets saved forever, Karon, five years later, he already got saved forever. Amen? Amen. Now, that's the good news of the gospel. Do you understand that? Yes. Do you believe Jesus is God? Yes. Do you believe he died for your sins? Yes. Do you believe he rose from the dead? Yes. Right. Now, before we talked, you did not know how to go to heaven. Do you, Do you know how to go to heaven? No. You don't? No. What's the one thing you must do to go to heaven? Believe. Uh, believe, right? So if you believe in Jesus, you believe in Jesus, you, what's this word? Which is to know, to be certain, to be sure, right? So if you believe in Jesus, you may know that you have eternal life. I know that I have eternal life because I believe in Jesus and he gave me eternal life. 
eternal life. How long does eternal life last? the one thing you must do. Believe, right? Right. These words mean the same. Believe, paturu, pasali, trust. Okay? So, pagutana, kanusa mo na papalua. Should you wait for 50 years? O karon? Gusto ba ninyo maluas karon? Temporario o hamtusa hamtu? Amen? Alright, now last thing. If you believe this with your heart, how would you tell Jesus that you believe? Do you have a cell phone number on you? You would pray to him, right? So I'm going to say a prayer. Do you want to be saved right now? All right, let's pray to Jesus and tell him that you believe the gospel. Okay? You can just repeat after me, if you believe. Amen? All right, my God will keep up. Uh, dear Jesus, dear Jesus, I know I'm a sinner. I know I'm a sinner. I know I deserve hell. I know I deserve hell. But I believe. But I believe. You died for all my sins. You died for all my sins. And rose from the dead. And rose from the dead. Please save me. Please save me. Right now. Right now. Forever. Forever. Amen. Amen. Now, did you believe that? Where will you go when you die in Piano Ulani? 50% sure or 100% sure? Amen? Amen. Alright. Now, just before I go here, okay, I don't have enough of these for everybody, but I'm going to leave some of these right here. This is an invitation to my church, if you ever want to come. Uh, Pillar Baptist Church, GSIS Heights, Matina. Okay? At the land bank, you just go straight all the way to the top. Okay, that's my church. But we've got our website here, we've got my Facebook here. And you don't have to go to my church to go to heaven, right? I, what I talked about today was how to go to heaven. But now I'm going to tell you the first thing you should do as a Christian, okay? If you believe the gospel, you're a Christian. And the first thing you should do is you should be baptized, okay? Now, I'm sure a lot of you had water sprinkled on you as a baby, okay? That's not a biblical baptism. There are a lot of people that get baptized before they're saved. But a real baptism happens after you're saved, after you believe the gospel. And how it is done is you're dumped completely in water, and then you're lifted up out of the water. And the reason for this is you're picturing Jesus' death when you go in the water, and his resurrection when you come out of the water. So that's the next thing you should do. If you come to my church, I can baptize you. Okay, but that's up to you. Either way, you're saved and going to heaven if you believe the gospel. Amen? Amen. Now, does anybody have any questions? Okay. Well, salamat sa pagkaminaw. All right, God bless you all. Thank you for your time.